In this problem, we're given a differential equation, and we're asked to use the reduction of order formula to find another solution. So we're given one solution, and we have to find another one. So the formula is y sub 2 equals, then it's y sub 1 of x times the indefinite integral, and it's a fraction. In the numerator, we have e to the minus integral of big P of x dx. And in the denominator, we simply have y sub 1 of x, and it's being um, squared like this, dx. So what is big sub p? So to find big sub p, we first have to write this in standard form. So we have to make sure there's a 1 here in front of the y double prime. So let's divide everything by x squared. When we do that, we get y double prime minus 7 over x y prime plus 16 over x squared y and that is equal to zero. So this is your big P right here. This is always going to be uh, your, big, your big P of x. So this is equal to x to the fourth, because that's what our y1 is, the integral of. So big P is negative seven over x, but there's already a negative here, so it'll be e to the integral of seven over x dx. And it's over x to the fourth, and then that's being squared, right? It's being squared, and then we have our dx. All right, e, uh, the integral of e, rather, uh, yeah, e to the integral of seven over x dx. That's the same thing as e to the seven ln x with absolute value. Don't worry about the c. That's the same thing as e to the ln x to the seventh, which is the same thing as the absolute value of x to the seventh which we can pretend is x to the seventh if x is positive. So this type of uh, calculation was done a lot uh, when we studied linear differential equations. So it's very, very routine, but you integrate seven over x, you get this, you bring this upstairs, e and ln cancel, you end up with an absolute value, pretend it's positive, so you just get x to the seventh. So this is equal to x to the fourth, and we have x to the seventh, over and on the bottom here we have x to the eighth and then dx. So this is equal to x to the fourth times and then one over x dx. And one over x is special. This integrates to the natural log of the absolute value of x. So this is x to the fourth natural log absolute value of x. And again, don't worry about the plus c. And that should be our second solution. I hope this video has been helpful.